it is me and my Tegan. And I don't know about you, but I'm definitely getting a sense of deja vu because my fairy loot box has just arrived and it has a very similar theme to uh, a certain Owl Crate box. So yes, it's time for another battle of the books. So if you missed my Owl Crate video, it will be somewhere up there. But I do know for a fact that Fairy Loot and Owl Crate have done the same book yet again. So we are going to compare and see who did the theme better and who did the book better. Because as we know, a lot of the times the UK will have a different cover. So Let's fingers crossed hope that they did a big change for the UK cover because I did not like that. So, without any more further ado, with our trusty pocket knife, let us get into it, shall we? Do, do, do. So, if you're unfamiliar, la, 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 la. if you are unfamiliar with Fairy Loot, it is a monthly subscription box. Every month, you get some fabulous bookish items and a very lovely book. And uh, here it is. I'm a little bummed. My spoiler card's all um, wrinkly, but it won't uh, detract from the goodies on the back. So as River Song would say, we have our spoilers. Yes, our theme was Regency and Scandal. And there's the art for this card. Um, the Owl Crate was Enchanted to Meet You. So the first thing that I see, ooh, what on earth is this? We have, like, a little, like, travel, travel box, like, to put some lovely goodies in. It's a very good size, and it has a teacup and daggers on it. Very interesting. I don't know if you can see the pattern very well, but it does have a nice little handle, so this would be handy for traveling. Oh, it's a lunch box. Okay, so, wait, what fandom is this? or a lunch bag. Uh, the Mysterious Society of Lady Scoundrels. Interesting. I have never heard of that book. Um, if you're familiar with that book, do comment down below and tell me if it is a good book and or series and should I read it. Okay, next. No paper wormies, but we have the packy peanuts. So those are gonna go on the floor. Next. Ooh, what is this? We have some kind of canvas. <gasps> Oh, we have an apron. Oh, this is nice. Okay, a lot. Of, I've had aprons in subscription boxes before. Usually they're the ones that they come up and go around your neck also. This is a really nice one that you just tie around your waist. I really love that design on there. Very, very nice. Although it almost feels like it's a little bit sewn on crooked, but that won't bother me much. That is very pretty. I don't like it a lot. Ooh, I think this might be our item that is themed after the book. That's one thing I do like about Fairy Loot. They tend to have, I've noticed, an item themed after the book that is being featured that month. Ooh, next we have the Outlands Planter Pot. Ooh, from Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. Oh, the other lands. There we go. Da -da. I hope it's pretty. Ooh, it is pink. Wrapped in bubbly wrap. Ooh, okay, this is really, really pretty. Um, I've gotten little planter pots before also, but this one is a unique shape and really pretty. On one side it says the other lens, and I like that on the back it is something different, so if you don't want the words you can have that. This is really pretty. And it even has a nice drainage hole, so that's very nice. Although, if you're doing plants, you will have to have a tray underneath so you don't get any water damage. But that is really pretty, really sweet, and I like that a lot. So far, the items are pretty good, although it is going to be hard to beat that um, Howl's Moving Castle pin from the Owl Creep box. Ooh, speaking of pins... Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this isn't our themed item. I will have to look. Oh, the apron is inspired by Half a Soul. So again, another book I am not familiar with. This is our item inspired by the book. <gasps> Ooh! Okay. So we have like a little portrait cameo 
brooch that is really, really pretty. I do believe this is our female main character, and it is like a pin like this, not a pin like this. So different backing, but this is really pretty. Very, very sweet. I love that. Okay, so this is the item that in our previous box, it wasn't ready. And so if you got January's box, it was going to be put inside. So here is mine. And if you didn't get January's box, I think they said they're going to ship it separately. But this is a little travel, um, a travel case. And it's inspired by an Ember and Ashes. I really like the design. That is very cool and very handy. Let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, very handy. So different pouches that you can put, different things for traveling. I will definitely be getting some use out of this. So very nice. Okay, now it is time for our book. But before we get into that, we have our little cards right here. So we have the Nine of Moons and the Ten of Moons. And I'm going to have to look because I'm not certain what fandom this is. Is it inspired by the book? Yes. So this is our two main characters for our book. And speaking of the book, it is right here. So I'm going to remove the little spoiler cards in here and then we'll have a look. So one moment, tease. Alrighty, so I've removed our paper items and I have not looked at the book yet. So first we have our little art print with the letter from the author on the back. And before we get into our book, do make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I really love knowing if you are new to watching my videos, so comment down below. Or if you have watched my videos before, hello. And comment what your favorite item is. And comment if you like the Owl Crate or the Fairy Loop book better, because it is time to reveal. Da -da -da! And you get to see it first. Oh, it's upside down. Oh. Mmm. Okay, so here is our book. It is a fragile enchantment, and I do not like this cover at all. Um, it looks like it's just a bit of a tweaked variation of the UK cover. Mm, not a fan. Not a fan. So it says on the back, a love story for the edge ages threaded with intrigue and scandal. Ooh, we do have sprayed edges on all three sides. That's nice. That That's nice. It kind of makes up for the ugly cover. Um, let's see. Ooh, we have end pages. Cute. Okay, is there something different on the other side? You get to see it first. Is there something different? Ooh, yes. So she's making her magical dresses. Ooh, okay. Yay. Um, phew. Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm loving the naked book, but we have a proper reversible dust jacket with that art on it. I'm definitely going to change it to um, this side because I think it's be a lot prettier. And they have the name of the book on the edge, which is a big plus. The naked book, though. Oh my, it is very Disney and pretty and actually a bit similar to what I would expect on the underside of the Owl Crate book. So here is what it looks like without its dust jacket. Um, I could go either way. Um, very, very beautiful and gilded. It says she embroidered until Kit's breath evened out beside her until it fell quietly into rhythm with hers. Okay, that is really, really pretty. Now, to compare, here is our Owl Crate Edition. It just has solid pink. It does have a um, ribbon bookmark. But here is our dust jacket. And then there is the naked book. I think Fairy Loot won for the naked. But I do like Owl Crate's cover more. Um, Owl Crate's um, art on the inside is just more of a picture not exactly a reversible cover although i do like um 
the end pages. Those are really cool, being gilded and all. But shall we see what the book has to say for itself? If you've already seen my Owl Crate, then you already know. I'm just going to read that spoiler. It says, it is our, prote our protagonist, Nima, I think, jumps at the chance to design the wedding attire for the prince and arrives at Ava Land full of hope. Instead, she finds unrest among the working class and a prickly and abrasive groom-to-be kit, who she can't help but get close to. As she tries to navigate this unruly kingdom, she finds herself in the middle of scandal with Kit, all while trying to maintain her magic and survive. Let's see if it says something different. Um, in a glittery alcove, nobles attend candlelit balls while unrest brews among the working class. Renowned dressmaker Nima, tasked with designing the prince's wardrobe for a royal wedding. But the magic in her blood that lets her stitch emotions and memories into fabric is the same magic that will eventually kill her. Cursed and alone, she finds herself drawn to the prickly, cold prince, and an unlikely friendship begins to blossom into something more. That is, until an anonymous gossip columnist is, column is released, exposing their chemistry and threatening scandal. As tensions rise within the royal court and protests rage outside the walls, she must decide what cost she is willing to pay for a future. And lo a love she never thought possible. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, so I'm excited to get into this book. Um, I will say, let's see. Yes, we still have digital signature. Although, as we all know, Owl Crates is a real signature. So if you want to see what the real signature looks like, there it is right there. So it is possible for an author to sign a book. Although I guess maybe it's hard if two boxes end up having your book, but again, I still wish that Fairy Loot did more signed books because if it's like a UK author, it's not like I'm not be able to get them signed. And I think that's what makes it really special is thinking that the author signed the book. I don't know. It's just me. Okay. Now it is time for our fairy scoop. So here we have little interviews um, going through there. And then next month's theme, which again is the same book as Owl Crates. If you want to know what the book is, just comment down below and I'll let you know. And I do think even a third book box is also doing this same um, book. But the theme is Moth to a Flame and it's going to have items inspired by the Jezid, Jezid Air Fourth Wing and the book of the book that month. And they're also going to have the next um, bookshelf tote bag. That one's really cute. I really liked their Greek mythology bag. I think that was the very first one I ever got. So yeah, it's again going to be another digital signature, sadly. But Hopefully it will be a completely redesigned cover because that will make it at least somewhat different. But yeah, tell me down below who won, Fairy Loot or Owl Crate. I think for the Dust Jacket cover, Owl Crate, although for the Naked book, I, I, I do love that a lot. So, yes. And also, there's still a few days left for my giveaway, so all that information is down below, so don't forget to enter that. That being said, mm. if you're interested in what tea I am drinking, it is the Year of the Rabbit tea from T Club Magic Hour. If you're interested in picking this up, my affiliate link is down below, and I also have a link to get you 20 off of 50, which is pretty awesome. And speaking of awesome, if you are interested in checking out another video, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there so that you never miss a single video ever again. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And don't forget to comment down below who you think won. And I will see you all later. Bye!